of China's massive contribution to global warming. It's already the world's biggest polluter. Our China correspondent, Damien Grammaticus, has been to the Gobi Desert to see how the country is trying to tackle the problem. But he starts his report from the heart of China's coal industry in Shangji province. Rising from the bowels of the earth, giant trucks laden with coal. The enormous mine they're digging at Pingshuo must be one of the biggest man-made holes in the planet. It's the source of many of today's carbon emissions. To alter climate change, you have to alter this. China's massive use of coal is what makes this country the biggest emitter of greenhouse gases in the world today. The real question is what happens in the next 20 to 30 years, because China's use of coal could double or even triple. And if it does, what every other nation does about climate change may not matter if China doesn't clean up its act. Already, almost half the coal mined on the planet is dug from the ground in China. Mr. Huang says there's enough coal here to last 90 years. And all around, they're hard at work exposing new seams. The nearby power station burns 20,000 tons of coal a day. The fuel provides two-thirds of all China's energy. And as China gets richer, energy use is soaring. Jeff and Ada Chen enjoy air conditioning. They have a car, a television. Today, perhaps one third of China's billion plus people live like this. The rest aspire to it. I think many of China people would like a lifestyle like us. But I think uh, we don't need to copy the lifestyle as uh, Western people. Uh, maybe we can find some uh, cleaner energies. But in its mega cities like Shanghai, China is copying the West, urbanizing on an incredible scale. 450 million more Chinese will move to the cities in the coming 30 years. Here, carbon emissions per head already rival the West. And as emissions keep rising, every single Chinese person may be emitting more on average than every European in little more than a decade. We need to develop, so we need lots of energy. We should be allowed to emit more than the rich world. Eventually, it'll stabilize, and all countries will emit about the same per person. Searching for clean energy, China says it wants to lead the world in green technologies. In its western deserts, it's busy building the world's biggest wind farms. The scale of what's happening dwarfs anything in Europe or America. Yang Shuhua's turbines are part of a project to produce as much electricity as 16 coal-fired power stations. But when the winds drop, the turbines slow. It's clear wind can't be relied on the way coal can. And if a billion Chinese end up emitting more per head than Europeans, the future for climate change could be bleak. Demigrammaticus, BBC News in the Gobi Desert.